the Coke Zero Sugar 400. Uh, big announcement. Big announcement. We only do one watch party a month, but we are going to do a special one for you guys here on YouTube. Since it's the playoff or the regular season finale, playoffs are going to get decided. Me and Tom, maybe Jared, hopefully Jared will be here. We're going to do a watch party just for fun. We're just going to come hang out with us Saturday night. Daytona action. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll give you our live reactions to the new playoff grid once it gets decided. Whoever wins. Um, yeah, that should be fun. But before we before we get to get to Saturday night and that awesome watch party, we're going to give you our predictions real quick. Um, I've said this a couple weeks ago uh, on a podcast. I believe Brad Kosowski wins this race. I think that he should have had the 500. Him and Busher ran a phenomenal race. I mean, they just made a bad block there at the end, got shuffled back. Then the cautions happened, couldn't make that ground back up. I think he gets redemption. And, and again, at Atlanta, he had that race one, got passed on the last lap by Logano. I think he is due. He hasn't won a race yet with RFK. I think this is it. I think this is the weekend. Keselowski gets it done. Um, and then for a dark horse, I think he's very underrated. I think a lot of people are just... They, I don't know why they don't like this guy, but I, I'm a huge Todd Gillen fan. I think this guy is a, an amazing talent. I mean, he put him in. I don't think he'd even want to go put him in better equipment. I think I think Front Row Motorsports is right where he wants to be because they are a growing, building team. I think I think if things play out right, I think he can win this race. I think he can win this race. I really do. Who do you, who do you got, Tom? Yeah, uh, you know, again, I agree with you with Keselowski. Uh, but I'm going to spread the love here a little bit and go with Busher because I think both of these guys have a great chance to win the race. Uh, I'm, I'm obviously leaning a little bit more to, towards Keselowski, but uh, you know what? Uh, Busher has already reached victory lane twice this year and, uh, maybe a little bit of momentum on his side. So that's who I'm going to go with. And then I'm going to, for my dark horse, I'm going to go with Almondinger. I mean... I chose him to get in on points, um, him and McDowell, um, and I mean, he had a, a, a decent run at Indy, I guess, and then a, a, a better run at, at Watkins Glen. I think that momentum is, is behind him, and I think that anything that happens this weekend in a good way is probably in a really good direct relation to that. I think he's just got a lot behind him and I, I would love to see Almondinger do really well or I would love to see Almondinger win this weekend and, and get himself get himself into the play get colleague into the playoffs. So that's who I got. I think the biggest takeaway or summary from our predictions here is uh Chase Elliott's not making the playoffs, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 